Hello everyone, my name is Andrew, today we're going to see learning Python and today we'll talk about decorators with arguments in them. So let's start. So we have probably seen decorators that have arguments in them. For example, we have a function called a, that function prints hello, and uh, we have a decorator that has uh, decorator that has um, that, call, that, that is called with the parentheses and it has some arguments inside of it. So for example, um, is raw equals true or I don't know some function that filters so filter that uh, filters your things that come into your uh, function. For example, if you're talking about Fast API, Fast API has um, a lot of decorators that allow us to create routes, and uh, one of the things inside of those decorators is the URL itself. So, for example, if I want to use Fast API in order to build web API, so in order to build web programs, what I can do is use app.get in order to have a get request and put a slash inside of here and it will allow me to have my uh, function my function a to process all the requests that come to slash url if i put abc my function a will process all the requests that come to abc page and there are tons of integrators that use that technique but how is it done in python so how can we do our own decorator with arguments inside of it let's just see how that works and uh, you need to be familiar with decorators in order to follow the video. So what I'm going to do here is create a decorator. Decorator. And let's start with a simple decorator that accepts a function as a callable. And then we have our wrapper inside of it. So wrapper that um, let's print, print it like that and call the function in the middle. So a very simple decorator, no logic behind it, but uh, yeah, it just decorates our function and we'll see the result right here. So as you can see, decorator works because we have that, uh, that thing before and after our hello. Very simple decorator, but still we can't put any, any arguments inside of here. Because if I call my decorator function and I'll run it, as you can see, decorator missing one required position argument func. So what is happening here? You need to be familiar with that uh, at decorator technique in order to really know how decorators work. Because what we do here is basically we're saying our function a equals to decorator from our function a. So that at decorator is equal to that a equals decorator at a. Very, very simple. And why is that? Because in Python, we can, we can use functions as objects. So function can be can be used as any object because everything in Python is an object. And we can put functions in arguments. So that is the basics of decorators in Python. We put our function inside of the decorator. And when we're saying add a decorator, so when we're using that syntax, what we're basically saying is that you need to get the next function, in our case, it's going to be a, and use that uh, expression in order to modify that function. So add decorator basically says a is now decorator from a. Then we accept function a as uh, as uh, an argument and we somehow somehow change that function. So we change its um, logic, we change its returns and all that stuff. All right, how can we add uh, arguments inside of here? If we think about that, decorator, so that uh, syntax is gonna accept a function inside of it. But what if, instead of just accepting the function, let me remove that, instead of just accepting the function just like that, because a decorator is gonna require a function next and we have that function here. What if, instead of that, we're gonna create another function and let's call it, um, let's call it argument decorator. And that function is gonna create a decorator inside of it and gonna return that decorator after all. And what we can do here is inside of decorator, we can finally call it. So what does that mean? And uh, yeah, we need to change it to decorator, argument decorator to the new name of that function. And we can finally call it. So what does that mean? Now, if I, yeah, let me run, you can see how all gives us the same result, but what does it mean? Why do we call it? Because right now, if you look at the function, argument decorator, creates a decorator inside of it that accepts our function that has a wrapper inside of it and it returns the decorator after all. So in order to receive our decorator, what we need to do is call the function, call that argument decorator function. 
And basically, argument decorator is a factory for our decorators. Factory for decorators. It basically creates new decorators depending on the things that happen inside of that argument decorator function. And because we need to create a new decorator, argument decorator is a factory, so we need to create a new decorator. What we need to do is call that function because we need to execute the code in order to receive our decorator that will change or decorate our function. And that is why we can add any arguments that we wish inside of here. For example, let's add um, I don't know, symbol argument, symbol as a string. And now we need to provide symbol inside of here. Because once again, argument decorator is going to create different decorators. It's just like a factory for those. And what I can do here is provide a symbol, for example, I know, plus, and we can change that to be symbol multiplied by 10, for example. Let's run it. As you can see, hello in, is covered in pluses or minus, and hello is going to be covered in minuses. So that's how it works. The only thing that we're doing in argument, in decorators with arguments is we are basically saying that we need to create a factory for our decorator. So we need to use three functions instead of two. The first function is going to create the decorator itself. The second function is going to be a decorator and the third one is a wrapper. It's going to change our function. And we can put any arguments that we wish inside of the decorator, inside of the first function, inside of our argument decorator. Because the second function can only accept function that we want to decorate. The third function can accept any arguments, but they're going to go inside of that A. If we want to put arguments inside of the decorator itself, that is the way. So we create three, three functions. The first one is a factory. And because it's a factory, we can put any values that we wish inside of the decorator and then use them in any of the functions. So we can use that symbol inside of here, print symbol. We can use that symbol inside of the decorator here. We can use it anywhere. And that is why we can put arguments inside of any of the decorators that we can create. So that is pretty simple. We have three functions, factory, decorator, and a wrapper. Thank you for watching. My name is Andrew. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and bye-bye.